Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Sohini from South Bay, California and I welcome you today. For anyone who's new to my channel, this is where we talk about anything AI. So we start with you know, early concepts and tools, methods, uh, we go into research internships, we see about you know, job seeking and we talk about as an AI community. So if there are any questions, we try to get to them together. This week, I actually have been looking at COVID-19 models. So there's been so much research that is happening. There are so many papers and special tracks, um, you know, that, that I started looking at. And somehow, as I, I got more and more involved into the research uh, work that was coming out, I had some, you know, personal emergencies that also crept up this week. So what I thought was I will quickly go over a, a gist of some of the research material that I have uh, seen so far, some of the research articles that I think are very relevant and if you think that these are of, of use to you or if you would like me to cover more of uh, you know models or, or research papers in a particular area please send me uh, you know a line in, in the comments or reach out in my LinkedIn or even via email and I would love to more work more on, on these models just for today I wanted to keep it short so let's get straight to it if models like this or if these topics are of interest to you please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and if this is not of interest to you then please let me know what could be some of the other topics that you would like me to cover on this channel i wanted to give some background as to why i picked the topic for today so for my work i was actually going over regression models and that's when it hit me that i started looking at um, you know some of the methods uh, that have been coming up in uh, time series modeling that are using regression so i wanted to look at some good use cases for regression use in time series problems and some bad use cases for uh, you know regression use in time series problems and that's what brings me to the video today so let's start by looking at what regression is regression is a statistical method in which you correlate or you in which you find the relationship between a dependent variable which we typically say in terms of y in terms of other independent variables now a lot of the mistakes uh, or a lot of you know, misnomers that go out there is you can use regression and uh, you can use uh, time series models on the same data actually that is not the case because there are some drawbacks of using regression on uh, you know on on these uh, time series uh, data such as the COVID-19 uh, you know model and the three main reasons why you should not use regression as is on time series models is first of all there is this issue of multi collinearity what happens there is if you see the features are highly correlated to one another then you will see that there is a, a linear trend in, in in among the among the features by themselves and i wanted to point out right now this would be a good article in which you can actually read about multi collinearity for covid-19 specifically and why you need to take away those features that are highly correlated to the other ones because otherwise you are not getting the iid or that is identical and uh, you know independently distributed uh, you know sample spaces so you have to take care of multi collinearity and this article will tell you how to do that the second thing is heteroskedicity in which case if you see the number of uh, affected people or you know the number of uh, infections as it is growing you will see that the number of infections are, or if you're just starting to plot how many people are getting infected you will see like a conical structure so you will see that the data actually expo explodes rather than being uh, you know symmetric around the mean or the average value and this is the definition of heteroskedicity and in heteroskedic data you cannot really apply regression models as is but you actually have to use weighted least squares and this is another uh, you know uh, location where you can check out how to treat heteroskedicity and how to use uh, weighted least squares in problems like this so given that now you understand why regression problems should not be used as is on time series data now let's look at some of the blogs and some of the research papers that I feel have been pretty interesting in uh, the in the time series modeling problems of COVID-19 so far. Let's look at the first paper which is a good use case and it uses regression to allocate clinical risk to every single patient for COVID-19. So this paper actually used regression in a good way. It used it in a way that 
you know it typically should uh, you know promote usage for regression in problems uh, in time series problems such as this so it used a uh, lasso regression and why it, the regression was used is was in order to minimize the potential of collinearity so the multi collinearity problem that i'd mentioned before this paper checks for that using regression and it, it ensures that the features that that people that we are looking at together are independent from one another they are not dependent so that the final risk score that is coming out is as uh, accurate as possible in terms of uh, the the variables under consideration and it also prevents overfitting so the outcome from this research it identified 10 i independent factors and they came up with the risk score which is still it's still valid right now so what they have is uh, it, it it comes with this uh, http link if you go to it it, it you know this sort of a pop up uh, you know comes up and then you can actually enter all these factors you know if you have x ray abnormality if you have age if you have this uh dyspnea and unconsciousness and all of these things if you enter it it'll tell you are you risky enough to be admitted in the hospital or not So this paper shows how on a daily level uh, and on a aggregated level Uh, the authors wanted to do a prediction of of the number of uh, you know susceptible and infected people um, going uh, you know in a, in a particular area. So for COVID nineteen uh, data, this data has actually been made publicly available for anyone who wants to try their hand on uh, you know on on these regression models. You can actually utilize this data set. The outcome was again as expected. The the paper predicts the inf in the in the infection would be tapering off in about three to four months. and of course the paper was off because it's been 5 months now since uh, 30th april and again the infection has not tapered off so there is a lack of features uh, there is a lack of regression ra rationale and the lack of time series models which has made this paper inaccurate uh, in its prediction mm -hmm.